I used to work with a guy who wouldn't really do his job properly. So behind his back, we gave him the nickname Zeus. Not because he was built like a Greek god, but it was a code word for zero effort unless supervised. <laughs> we got a guy who comes into work and the boys call him two pies. So I asked, why do you call him that? Because you can't get that fat eating one pie. <laughs> While serving in the military, I worked with a guy called Fatal uh, because he was fat and his, his name was Al. <laughs> I know a guy with one testicle. He's got two kids, so we call him Powerball. Oh, that's good. Yeah. An old friend had nerve damage in his face. So one... <laughs> Sorry, I'll save you a bus on the seat to hell. An old, <laughs> an old friend had nerve damage in his face, so had one eyelid half closed and one really wide. <laughs> so we called him Dip and Dazzle. Oh, that's terrible. We've got an apprentice at work known as Wonder Boy. He, think, he thought it was because he's so great and the eighth wonder of the world. Really, he has that much time off. We always wonder where the F he is. <laughs> <laughs> A bloke that I, where I used to work was called Gav. He'd always bunk off early, so his nickname became Heartburn because when the boss always asked where he was, everyone would say, Gav is gone. Gav is done. Yeah, good. A lad I knew in the Navy was called the Pringle Thief. <laughs> <laughs> the Pringle Thief because he had had an accident and lost two fingers so his hand can go all the way to the tube now real easy. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I don't know. That's one of the all-time greats. Uh, James just texted saying, oh my gosh, these are absolutely ruthless. We had a nickname for an old boss. He used to tell us how good the jobs were that he was sending us to, but they all turned out to be nightmare jobs. Because of this, we called him Willy Wonka because he used to sugarcoat everything. <laughs> Kyle Turner has a workmate called the seat cover because he just sits in the ute all day collecting dust. <laughs> We work with an old weathered painter who was so sunbaked he was all wrinkled, had no moisture in his body. His name was Colin. Enter the Coltana. <laughs> Dan Wallace, we had an apprentice nicknamed Matchstick for two reasons, because he was pale as a ghost and had red hair, and he was also uh, actually once known to set himself on fire during work experience. My uh, mate is called Daryl, but he is fat. So we call him Barrel.